This video is going to look at how to realize a specialized shift register in System Verilog. The image you see here is the specialized shift register that we're going to implement. This is mostly like a normal shift register. The one difference is that the input to the second most significant bit is the combination of the most significant bit and it with the input, as opposed to being typically just the most significant bit. So to get started, we're going to have a template for this module, and we're going to parameterize this module so that instead of just being able to implement a 4-bit shift register like is shown in the image, we can implement a shift register with any number of bits that we'd like. So we have a parameter w for the width of the shift register, and we've got three inputs, the one main input for the shift register, and then the clock and the reset inputs, and we've got a single output out, which is the output of the least significant bit of the shift register. So to implement this in Verilog, the first thing we need to do is have a place to maintain or store the bits within the shift register. So we're going to have a logic that's going to store all the bits. And so if we have a total of W bits, we're going to need a vector from W minus one down to zero. And I'm going to call this SREG for the shift register. And then basically we just need an always block that will implement the function functionality of the shift register. Since a shift register is sequential logic, we need a always flip-flop block that we're going to have activate at the positive edge of the clock. And we could optionally include reset in this, but in this case, I'm going to make the reset a synchronous reset. So if reset is asserted, then we need to reset the flip-flops to their default state or reset them to zero. So we need to set the values of the S register to however many zeros that we have. And otherwise, we need to set the different bits of the SREG to whatever their new values are going to be. And we can use an, a concatenation operator to achieve this. So the most significant bit is going to take on the value of in. So we just give that the value of in. The second most significant bit is the one that's being generated by the AND gate. And so that is a combination of the most significant bit which is whatever is in the most significant bit of the S register, which is the W minus one bit, and it with whatever the input is. And then for everything else, we're just shifting over the current values in the S registers over one bit to the right. So for everything else, we're just going to need the bits W minus two down to one, and we're shifting off the zeroth bit, it's being shifted out, so that's why we don't have S reg zero. We close off our concatenation, and that's all we need to implement this module. 